In this webcast, we are going to solve a problem that includes rotation about a fixed axis. So let's look at the problem. Uh, we have a pulley A that has a diameter of 50 millimeter. It rotates about this shaft here that is connected with belt to another pulley C here that has a radius of 40, 40 millimeter and there is another pulley B which is also rotating about the same shaft that is C is rotating which has a radius of 60 millimeter so the problem says that the given is point A here the angular um, velocity of this disc is given which is 5 radian per second and um, also angular acceleration is given 6 radian per second the problem asks that find the magnitude of velocity b of point b here velocity of point b when a has two revolution so a will have two one two revolution and we need to find the velocity at that point so our goal is not just solve the problem but to develop the skills to how to approach a problem and that requires a lot of practice here we will solve the problem step by step so that we can apply the same approach for other similar problems so let's see what is the first thought that comes to our mind when we read the problem we our focus the problem says that what will happen after two revolution so we need to focus on the two revolution and since we are looking for the final magnitude of the velocity but given is the angular velocity so the second question comes is that how we convert the angular velocity given to the second um, to the velocity and we see the information are given for this pulley and we need to find the, uh, the motion or velocity of this pulley so we need to somehow transfer the information to this pulley but before that let's see what happens after two revolution for this pulley first we'll find the angular velocity of point A to find the angular velocity of pulley A we'll use this equation where this is the final angular velocity this is the initial we know the acceleration and this is the delta theta which is 2 revolution if we plug the value 5 which is given 6 is the acceleration for 2 revolution we put 2 and we know 1 revolution is to 360 degree or 2 pi radian um, so we if we plug those value we get the um, angular velocity of the pulley A uh, after 2 revolution which is 30.26 revolution per second so now we have found the angular velocity of A which is 13.26 radian per second now we need to transfer the given information that we found after 2 revolution from pulley A to pulley C and eventually pulley B because that is our target so first let's see how we can transfer the information of pulley A to pulley C because they are connected with the belt so we see that this point here A is connected with this point here so if the belt is um, without rotates without any slip so the tangential velocity at this point will be equal to the tangential velocity of this point which is the velocity we can say that point A and if there is a point C here that they are will be same so now we know that the velocity can be defined if we know the radius of any point on a disk and if we know the angular velocity we can find the velocity tangential velocity of that point so if we plug that value here 
and if we look for omega c so rc will be on on this side here and we know all the radius given and if we plug the value omega a here we can find omega c which is 16.57 radian per second so now we have already transferred the information of pulley a to pulley c now all we have to do is that um, <clears throat> transfer the information from c to b but before that remember we are looking for acceleration so we may have to also transfer the acceleration which is uh, alpha uh, angular acceleration of a to angular angular acceleration of c so let's do that so to transfer the acceleration from pulley a to pulley c we will take again the tangential acceleration for example this point which will be equal to the tangential acceleration of this point here because they are connected with the same belt and there is no slip happening inside the belt and we know that tangential acceleration can be represented by angular acceleration multiplied by radius of that point from center to that point again so for, so for C if for a point on the disk pulley C here the angular acceleration multiplied by the radius RC so we know the angular acceleration which is given 6 we know the radiuses radius of A and C so we can find angular acceleration which is 7.5 radian per second square I am sp skipping the calculation to save time but you should plug those value and check if your answer is matches with mine which is 7.5 so so far we have transferred the information of a to pulley c and we found the angular velocity of pulley c which is 16.57 radian per second and angular acceleration of c 7.5 radian per second square now our goal is to transfer this from uh, c to b and remember what was our first thought we are looking for velocity of point b so how can we transfer this angular velocity and acceleration to a general or normal acceleration so since c pulley c and b are sharing the same shaft so the angular acceleration and angular velocity of c will be the same of angular acceleration and velocity of b so to find now to convert from angular to uh, acceleration we will find the tangential acceleration which it would be the angular velocity of c or also we can say angular velocity of b uh, and the radius from center to the point b here which is 60 so if we plug the value you will get the tangential component of the uh, acceleration which is 0.45 meter per second square uh, watch that our dimension was in millimeter and we convert it into meter so you have to convert that um, millimeter into meter don't forget that now comes the if there is a tangential component there is also no so we know that normal component we can get from v square over r and this is the radius of curvature we used to have so here the radius of curvature is r so we put r and if we can replace v with omega r that we know so we'll get omega c r b whole square and r and r cancel out we left with omega c square r b and again if we plug the value you'll get the normal component which is 16.48 meter per second square once we have the tangential and normal component we can just plug into our equation and take a square root you will get the value 16.5 that will be our magnitude of the acceleration of point b so that is our answer thank you if you have any more question you can comment below and i'll answer it